So I felt like this was pretty interesting. So a woman who disguised herself as a man to find out how it is to live as a man unalived herself due to the psychological scars of how difficult life was for a man. Let's read on. Says she was a radical feminist who believed men live life on easy mode and tried to prove it by disguising herself as a man for two years. Instead, what she found out is men actually have it harder and wrote a book about her experience. Apparently, she had to quit after 18 months because she was starting to strongly dislike women due to how bad all of them treated her when they thought she was a man. So first things first, RIP to her, that's pretty sad. But to all you women who think life is just so easy for a man, this woman actually tried it. And she tapped out in pretty much in the ultimate way. Most men have a hard time just being themselves in society without unaliving themselves. And you think that if you were a man, it would be easier for you? I think y'all really underestimate the difficulties of being a man sometimes. Unhappy, tired all the fucking time. I don't want to socialize. I stay in bed all day when I can in sleep to block out reality. I use music as a way to escape, but it doesn't really fucking work. It just helps. You know, I envy people that are happy. I've got a family that doesn't really fucking family And when they do, I feel like the fucking black sheep I wish I was someone else, I wish I was happy I've got a short attention span, I zone out a lot I used to want to go out all the fucking time But now all I want to do is stay home, locked up in my room Sleeping, watching movies and listening to music I'm starting to fucking hate myself I overthink everything, every fucking thing and this smile that I put on is so fucking fake. Deep down inside, I am slowly fucking giving up. I don't know what to do or how to express myself. Absolutely everything as a man is your responsibility. It's your responsibility to become your best and brightest version of yourself. And you're not going to do that simply by talking it into existence. You need to live it into existence. You need to go out there and do things which are genuinely difficult, genuinely stressful, which are genuinely scary. Mm. So you can become the man you want to be. So you have to take responsibility for these things and you have to seek them and choose and find the correct difficulties for you to overcome so you can build a character worth having. I believe that it's pain that teaches. I don't believe men especially can learn any way besides pain. We talk about learning a lesson the easy way or the hard way, and I'll tell you something. We've all been offered chances to learn a lesson the easy way our entire lives. And guess what? We didn't learn anything and we kept doing it. It's natural and intrinsic inside of men. You'll see a man drive a car too fast and almost crash a hundred times, and he won't learn his lesson until he's crashed that car. We only learn things the hard way. It's only pain that can teach a man. Every single time something bad happens to me, that's how I see it. I see it as God teaching me to make me more wise, more formidable, a more capable opponent, and that's how you have to approach life. Even if you're a normal guy with a normal job and you're suffering at your job or you're heartbroken because your girl left you or whatever if you're suffering that's part of your hero's journey there is no hero's journey without suffering if you have an easy life the whole way through you never get to be a hero that's the whole point of being a man is that you're supposed to suffer you're supposed to eat pain for breakfast you're supposed to come and grow into a better version of yourself that's exactly what life's supposed to be about as a man for 80 percent of the movie you're going to suffer for 80 percent of the movie you're going to lose watch any superhero movie for 80 percent of the movie it is nothing but pain and frustration and difficulty and when your life is that way you have a chance to grow into something fantastic and you should thank god for every difficult thing he puts in your path think about a superhero movie a man is unfairly imprisoned in a romanian jail cell and trained so hard he emerges stronger than ever before that is a movie you get to live a movie as a man if all you had was some balls. We are living movie scripts. Why? Because we have bravery. Most men sit there and wonder why they're depressed because you don't get to live a movie. You're not the main character of anything. You're not even a secondary character in anyone else's movie. You're an unimportant nobody because you were afraid your entire life. You've lived like a coward your whole life. You were afraid of what might happen if you have some balls. And then you wonder why you're depressed. I'd be depressed if I was you. Of course, your life sucks. I'd rather go to jail as me than live free as you because when you're free you can't even do anything you can't go where you want you're broke you can't have sex girls don't want you you can't speak because no one listens so what are you free to do you're more in jail than i ever was my mind is free i'm allowed to think what i want to think and say what i want to say they have thoughts and they go mm, don't know if i should say that 
They second guess themselves. They're their own worst enemy. Every single part of me is on my team. I have enemies who want me dead, fine. But every single part of me, my mind, my hands, my legs, every single part of me is on my team. My body doesn't second guess itself. My mind doesn't turn on itself. We don't break and self-sabotage. There's no civil wars inside of Andrew Tate. A lot of men no longer have shame. You have no shame left. You should be too ashamed to be a coward. You should be too ashamed to do the wrong thing. Where's your shame? Well, we destroy that, right? We destroy that even in schools with men and stuff. I'll tell you something. My brother can shame me into doing something. He can shame me. He can call me a pussy or a coward and I'll set up and say, no, I'm not. And I'll do the brave thing. Shame works for men sometimes. I say to men all the time, men come to me and say, I can't get a girlfriend. I say, it's because you're a loser. You are a loser. Change that fact. Come to me and prove to me you're not a loser. I will shame him and he will react to it and his life will improve. But now we have men with no shame. They'll walk around with no shame at all. And then we wonder why we have a whole bunch of cowards. Cowardice is always the easy choice, but you should feel too much shame to take it. That's the problem. It's the path of man, it's the path of victory, and it's the only path to truce. It's the only path to genuine happiness in your heart. There's one path. There's one, there is one path to happiness and that is masculine strength and that is eating pain for breakfast and becoming a better person. The flavor of life is pain. You try to change the flavor. You're gonna end up disappointed. You're gonna end up weak. You're gonna end up miserable. Accept the flavor and learn to love it. That's the only path to genuine competence and happiness within yourself as a man.